<laughs> so, I've had. Mm, I'll start again. So, for about six months, I've had a swollen knuckle. This one here. Not that looks rude. But <laughs> this one here. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera. It's hard to hold that finger up, man. <laughs> it looks so bad. Right, but genuinely, this knuckle here, you can actually see it in the camera, it's fatter than this one. So I'm going to do like a journey of taking CBD because apparently one of the things it can do is help reduce inflammation. And I'm guessing that's what, I'm guessing that's what it is in the knuckle, it's just struggling to heal for whatever reason. Um, it's kind of like a staved feeling if you've ever like staved a knuckle. So I want to start. But it's hard when you take a supplement, sometimes you don't really know what helped. So if you're trying to take something for recovery and it, it seems to work, like you kind of question like what actually helped. But I know for a fact this has been sore for like six months. And if I start taking this and it goes away, then in my opinion, CBD works. Love hemp, baby. So they're both the same brand. I just picked it up off uh, Holland and Barrett. They are 12,000 milligrams of CBD, which is 4%, it's saying here. That was the strongest dose I could see. Two sprays, I'm guessing it's under your tongue. So. Alright, that's two sprays. <laughs> that's two sprays, I know. Spray it under your tongue, and you have to hold it under your tongue for two minutes before you swallow. So anyway, that's the first one done. I'll just use it for like a month and see if it makes a noticeable difference. And I'm going to start creating like a log or a journey and me getting better at CrossFit. I'm just a beginner in CrossFit. I started at the tail end of last year. And this year I really want to focus on getting as good as, as, good as I can be at CrossFit. So that is quite vague because there's so many different movements within CrossFit that I've just started learning for the first time. Like all your Olympic lifting, your gymnastic movements, um, obviously you've got all your cardio stuff, it could be swimming, rowing, skiing, all these different things. So it's hard to approach it all at the same time. Like there's just a lot going on. So right now my main focus is strength and seeing how good I, I think I could get at CrossFit based off how strong I can get from now up until round about, I don't know when, but summer, maybe May, June, and then if I can get to a certain level of strength, then I can move on to the next stage, which is gymnastics. Yada yada, I'm going on a bit, but I kind of wanted to start this journey when I had more time, so right now I'm living in a flat that's kind of getting renovated, so I'm struggling with time, but I've already started making progress, so I don't want to leave it too late to the point that I can't show people where I was right at the start. So we're going to the gym just now and we're going to be doing power snatches, power cleans and power jerks. And I've already went from like, I was only ever doing like 80 kilos for most of them. But last week I managed to get a 90 kilo power clean and a 95 kilo power clean. And last night as part of the CrossFit class, it was a one rep max, pretty much one rep max jerk, which could have been split or push, split or push jerk. And I done push and I got up to 95, which is massive progress for me. So I want to start recording how I think I've done that. And so, well, one for me, so I can look back, hopefully when I'm doing 140, 150, 160. And two, if anybody's going to get any CrossFit, and they have a similar background to me, or they can have a gauge of what it would take to get from the point I'm at now to the point hopefully it will be. Anyway, we're almost at the gym just now, and hopefully, I've just started taking this camera with me, so it is a bit nerve wracking, but hopefully I can set it up and show how we do tonight. The ideal is that I can go heavy tonight, but we'll see how I feel when I'm warming up.
that as 100 kg went up, which is a PB at the time of recording. I was buzzing with that, especially the way I felt during the session. A lot of the lighter weights felt a bit dusty to be honest. But there you go, ended up getting a PB. Here I'm attempting 110 kg. Probably a bit prematurely at the time. But as you're about to see, I failed it. <laughs> so too much for me at the time. And here I was supposed to go into heavy, heavy push jerks. But after trying a few, just decided against it. Um, just because feeling fatigue and don't want to push too much heavy weight in the one session, which I'm discussing here. I'd already hit two PBs, so I was trying to go for a third and just trying to not to cause an injury. So if anyone's made it this far in the video, especially if I don't know you, that's kind of cool. So maybe comment, say hello, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.